you've been reaching out wondering what this crazy market's doing, where it's going. We have been having lots of conversations with you all about this, and we have some very black and white data. Can't wait to show you. Literally black and white data. So stay tuned. All right, so we are going to talk to you today about the market update. It's 2023. It's October. Fourth quarter. So we're entering into that fourth quarter of 2023. Um, obviously, if you watch any type of news source, you're going to see headlines all about interest rates. So They are we, not our best friends. We right are now. talking about the scary, since it's Halloween. Scary interest rates that are happening here in 2023. But we're going to break that down for you. Kaylee and I just sat and talked for probably an hour and a half going over different scenarios because we were just kind of curious what that looked like because you guys do reach out all the time and we have these hypothetical conversations on what it looks like pros and cons in this market. Well, that's exactly what I wanted to kind of tee up is that we get phone calls every day from you all and you'll fall in love with Colorado Springs. You're still moving here. Maybe we've been out, we've seen homes, we've seen what you can get, and then maybe you see those numbers and you pull back and you say, eh, I think we're going to rent for two years, a year, and then we're going to look at homes again. We're here to tell you and show you the reasons, the numbers why. And I will say, of we get we literally are having this conversation almost daily with you all. You'll come out, do your homework, and then go back, run numbers. Maybe you decide you're going to rent. Well, then they look into our rental market here in Colorado Springs. <laughs> or you have a dog. Which is just cat. as hard to go down that road as buying a home because rentals are very hard to come by, much less if you have animals. Animals are you want kids. to settle kids into certain school districts. It's a lot of moving pieces. And then we've had probably almost 50% of you that decided that was the route you were going to go, come back and say, you know what, we're just going to buy. And we're going to be real honest with you. We get it. Like these interest rates, we are almost at 8%. Scary. They're really They scary. are a lot. And there's definitely pros and cons. And every one of your situations is so different. And so that's why we say just reach out to us. And again, we, I want to full on disclosure, like we're in this market every day, so we have, you know, good insight to it. But our lender is really the one who can run specific numbers with you and talk about that amortization schedule, interest rates, all that kind of stuff that you probably need to dig into if you're thinking of buying a home. Um, so we'll have talk in general numbers, but when you reach out to us, we'll look at your situation, talk about pros and cons at each option yeah. and then get you in contact with the local lender here if you don't have one already. So I just want to preface that a little bit. Like we're really going to have an honest conversation with you. We know that not all situations are going to lead into um, the, the same outcome for everybody. And there's a lot of moving pieces when you're moving state to state. I would say a lot of you that we're talking to have those jobs secured. You're working from home. Um, some of you do have those moving pieces. It's such a great um, part when planning your, uh, if you're moving from out of state, out of the city into Colorado Springs, please touch base with that lender. Let's be realistic with what these pieces are and what we need to get do to get you here. And so um, great first step, reach out to us. We can put you in contact with our preferred lender. We know him, we trust him. Um, he knows underwriting guidelines, and a lot of times that's a big deal for moving pieces. Our first example is with a new build option. Let's take a look. So I know that's all confusing, and we want to recap, so we're going to just point the camera down and show you our numbers and talk you through what all this means. So we're going back in time. Yeah, so we are talking about 2021. For all these examples today, we are going to use an average price point of a $500,000 home here in Colorado Springs when we're breaking down these numbers for you. So we're going to pop you under our screen and show you 2021 situation. We have pulled up this Churchill Mortgage Calculator. Feel free to use whatever online calculator you would like. We just thought this was easy to read. So with it's that being simple, said. simple. There's not like property taxes and PMI, those are all different for everybody. So this is just a very, we just want to talk straight numbers with you. So we want it to be simple. So back in 2021, yes, average home price, or it, you know, we're talking about that $500,000 home, people were paying definitely above and beyond that. So let's call it 540,000. Right, so in a $500,000 home, there was multiple offers at that time. So we are writing in a 500, you would 
say that that price point, you're going 40,000 above asking at that point, competing with offers to get a home at that price point. So 540,000. Now, good news is interest rates were definitely lower than where they are now. We're putting in an average of 2.99. I know there was some below and some above, but 2.99 was a solid interest rate in 2021. And for all these situations, we are saying you're putting $20,000 down. Um, again, that's going to vary, but for in this situation, to keep it simple, everybody is putting down $20,000 on their home. So your payment calculated is just over $2,000 a month. It's at $2,189. Now, one thing we want to point out, the total interest paid, that red number on the screen is the interest for the entire life of the loan, which we know most people will refinance several times during that life of that loan. So, so that's over... Um, you know, 30 year loan term. And then the other thing we wanna point out is the amortization schedule. And we always say most people move or refinance within a four year period, so about 48 months. So at the 48 months, after you've lived in that home for four years, your balance would be $474,000 that you still owe on that home. So um, just to take a look at what that looks like, we want you to keep that in mind. If you'd go to refinance, you'd go to sell that home, your loan balance, and the situation is $474,000. So fast forward to today in 2023, we're still looking at new build options, promotions, and where your rates and payments are gonna fall. So let's go back over to that computer. All right, so we, again, we're talking about homes, average home price, 500,000. Yes, this rate, 499 is doable right now. There's builders offering incredible incentives We've seen them even down to 475 right now. And we're gonna show you, stay to the end. Yeah, we are gonna show you that this is real. But builders are offering incentives because they're tackling the problem, which is the interest rate. So they can buy down that rate to get you into an affordable mortgage. So again, we're looking at 30 year mortgage, that $20,000 down brings your monthly payment to 2,573 annually. Correct. Or monthly, sorry. The part that scares people is this red number. See, it jumped to four year over the interest, the interest paid over the life of that loan, the 30 year term is going to be $446,000 compared to um, what it was in 2021. We're gonna recap that for you in a minute. So it does quite go up a lot. However, again, hardly anyone lives in a home for 30 years and never moves and never refinances. If we look at that average term over four years, when you would go to refinance or move in 48 months, you are looking at your loan balance is 449,000. Okay, so here it is on paper. So if you bought in 2021, there's what we talked about, that purchase price. What I want you to focus on is these bottom line numbers. We're looking at this from the perspective of you're gonna stay here for four years. If you got into that mortgage that was $40,000 higher, at the end of four years, your loan balance is $474,000. If you get into that same house, which is now $500,000, and even with today's rates, in four years, your loan amount is nearly $25,000 less than even if you bought two years ago because the rates are down or excuse me, the prices are down even though the rates are a little bit higher. Now we do wanna point out somewhere over here that you are paying $19,000 more in that monthly payment a month for sure, right? So that's kind of equating that. So that 19,200 right here mm -hmm. was mm -hmm. the difference that $400 a month times four years because we mm -hmm. acknowledge that you're paying that more a month, but, but you're still ahead. So the one thing we want to talk about is the equity that you would gain in that home. Typically during the crazy years, it was as much as 10% of um, house value increase in a year. Typically it's about four to five percent. And we are going to be conservative on this. And we're going to say over each year, three the home value percent. is going to be about three and a half percent. So if I type in a $500,000 home, uh -huh. each year you're increasing its value by three and a half percent. Is Which is very conservative. It is, 17,500 times those four years. And that's what your home value is going to increase in those four years. Back it up, it's a little fuzzy. Four years, by investing now, not only is your balance changing, but your amount of the equity in your home is going, so you're working double time 
on your real estate investment. So that same home that you would buy 500,000 in four years is gonna be 570. That's situation number one. So we interrupt our market update. So before we get into the existing homes example scenario, we want you to know that we are here in the local market every day, absolutely love it. Give us a call or text, we help clients daily. You want a real estate agent that is experienced in this, they can talk to you about the numbers like this, and then we'll rely on the experts, the lenders. So drop those numbers into your phone. Situation number two, we now want to go down the path of existing homes, not new builds. So in this situation, we want to take a look at the difference between if you'd buy now versus rent and hold on until two years from now, what that looks like. So we're going to hop on our computer and show you if you'd buy an existing home at $500,000 currently today in 2023, what that looks like. So we have up our handy dandy calculator again. So in 2023, we're buying that same $500,000 existing home. We have wrote several offers over the last couple weeks where maybe we go in at their asking price if we think it's decent value for the home, but we ask that seller to pay down our rate. So instead of being at 8%, we ask them to buy down that rate to maybe the high sixes. So we're putting in 699, that's what one of our clients was locked into with that rate buy down making that monthly payment $3,190. I know it's a little bit more than that new build option, but the nice thing is you have window coverings, you have landscaping, it's a different home. And so with that being said, over the life of the loan, I know this, this little red number is really cringy, but it, you're paying over that life of that loan, 668,000. Now, right. I will give you the good news to that. Most people refinance every four to five years. And that's what we're looking at here. When I scroll onto that 48 month mark on that amortization, your current um, amount you still own that loan is $458,000 in this situation. So now we're jumping into Fast the future. Forward. Right, <laughs> now we're going into the future into 2025. Let's say you decided that that was too much for you to buy right now. You rented, we found you a rental here, which is a great option. And then in 2025, two years from now, you decide to buy what that looks like. So at that point, and conservatively speaking, that $500,000 home at 3.5% increase is going to cost us $535,000. So let's go because over to the computer. If you bought that home in 20, currently in three years from now, or sorry, two years from now, you would have $35,000 of equity in that home at a 3.5% increase. So over to our handy dandy calculator, that $535,000 house, I think that as soon as rates go below 6%, we're gonna be in a housing frenzy again. That's what a lot of economists are even talking about, but let's say we get an incredible rate, we're at 5.5% interest. If you hold out for interest rates in the twos again, you're gonna be hanging out for yourself to buy, for your to lifetime. get into the real estate market <laughs> for a while. So. So with that being said, your monthly payment will be $2,924. So that's what, about $290 difference? I'm uh, $280 difference than if you bought now. So I understand that it is a little less, but go ahead, scroll down. This number is still scary though, I get it, but that's our, that's the situation we're in with 5.5% interest rates, but you are gonna refinance or sell in four years, we're gonna go with that And I think statistic. that's a very conservative number to be refinancing. Your home balance for that $535,000 home, your loan balance is 484,000. So let's recap. All right, you can see Kayleen and I's very organized <laughs> note system that we are using. So in an existing home in 2023, again, $500,000 purchase price, rate buy down to 6.99% your average um, monthly mortgage again without property and pmi if you need it is 31.90 and then we're also going to talk about your loan balance of 458,000. so we are saying that now in four years you're going to owe 458,000 on that loan whereas if you wait and calculate four years you're going to be at 484,000. so not only will you be missing out on the equity gained in your investment, but you are going to be behind the ball as far as if you waited to jump in. It's because you're buying at this purchase price too. Like if that's the extra 35,000 that you're buying that home for two years from now. So 
that is just a little recap that we have, and we're going to show you some great options. So we options. have one more scenario, though. We have one more scenario. Oh, yeah, we do. Okay, what's our scenario? Hang, hang with us just a little bit longer. Scenario three, it's going to be pretty quick. So say you decided to rent. Our average rent here in Colorado Springs is $2,521. Just do $2,500. $2,500, gotcha. Um, and say you wanted to wait that four years. Four years? Okay. Uh, let's just say two years. All right, Let's two just years. say two years. So on top of all those numbers we just talked about before, you're also giving somebody else that much of your hard-earned money. That you're not building an equity. I get that those interest rates and that you pay over the life alone, but after four years, you're going to have some equity and you're going to be able to refinance. It's still out money. of your pocket. You're paying somebody else's mortgage. So with all of those things being said, I can confidently tell you that it's still a great time to invest in the Colorado Springs real estate market as long as, and not all situations are the same, and I'll, Lori and I will listen, we'll let you know if you're being realistic or not, but Colorado Springs is a great place to have an investment. You still need a place to live. And as far as the equity that you can gain in El Paso County, I'm confident that your investment is going to be solid in two, four years. And we're putting action, what we're talking about, we're actually both buying a house this year. And I do see those interest it's rates scary. and I'm like, oh, should I lock in? I talk to Kaleen, I'm like, what, is, should I, what should I do? And I do get it, it's scary and it means hundreds of dollars each month to you. But I know that holding on to that investment piece over four years, I'm going to have some great equity at the end of it. And there's it's just Airbnb scary situation right that investments so, go for. So this is like mm -hmm. cliche. It's a stupid saying. What's your but, saying? Um, marry the house. Oh, no. Don't say that. The Do rate. not say that. No. But it's true. No. You can always like, all right. Mm -hmm. With that being said, mm -hmm. I did mm -hmm. want to talk about one more thing. Okay. I know rates are high. I know it may push um, some of your monthly budgets by a little. It's still You still need a place to live. I do want people to maybe put on that lens of looking at a home as maybe not your forever home. Maybe it's your foot into the door for your Colorado real estate investment. We have a lot of people calling us from different states that maybe, you know, just by coming to Colorado, your um, cost of living is going to go up some. You're still willing to do it, but maybe not search for that forever home because it could be a pretty good shock. And we want you to be able to, if you just got your foot in the door and you gained all that equity, maybe instead of working with a $20,000 down payment to purchase that home, in two years, we could have $100,000 to then do a trade-up property. This is what you've been waiting for. We're going to show you some exact examples of what our emails look like and what we're helping clients get into so it's a really good investment for them and a good value for them. So let's jump over to our computer. I'm going to show you. So these are literally screenshots from different builders in the Colorado Springs area. Because mm -hmm. we are on their preferred vendor list, we do a lot of uh, business with new builds. We get all of their promotions pushed out to us. So this is one particular builder that is offering right now for rates as low as 4.99%. That's crazy. Here's another one I screenshot. I'm not going to go through my emails and show you these, which is great for new builds. And if you're going the existing route, let's talk about rate buy-downs. Let's talk about lender rate buy-downs. There's a lot of options we can go with you um, or work with you to get you into a great interest rate that's going to work for you and your family. And we can help structure that in an offer and um, make sure that whatever is important to you, um, that we can offer that in the initial offer and hopefully get you under contract for something that doesn't make you cringe. It's not that scary. So put those numbers into your phone, reach out, give us a call. We can talk to you about what we're seeing here in the market. We do it all the time. We do it daily. Um, what we love is we had a client yesterday, got a home um, appraisal back, $25,000 no in instant equity. And they had enough to buy a rate down because we went in and asked for that um, 13000 to buy down that rate. So great options for our clients here. It just depends upon your situation. We work hard at what we do. So give us a call or text anytime.